care about. Number one, I want you to think about somebody in your life that you know has a good heart. Then I want you to think about somebody that has a great smile. The next person, she has a family. It doesn't matter if they're two-legged children or four-legged friends. Okay? Think about a lady in your life that who loves to look tough. <laughs> Think about a lady who loves makeup. Think about a lady who loves jewelry. Think about a lady who got low self-confidence. Now that's the biggie. Who is she? That's what I'm talking So, and then on the other scale of it, think about a lady who got a really good job. Probably got a new home, a new car. Think about another lady who's a hard worker. She goes to work even when she doesn't want to go to work because she got a migraine headache. But she goes to work anyway. She needs to feed her family. Think about the woman who probably is a single mom. So I'm giving you the picture of just about everybody in your life, aren't I? Yes. Yeah. And also think about the person who got skin. Who got skin. Okay. Do you know anybody who doesn't have any skin? No. So therefore, <coughs> I just opened up your mind now to what's around you, all right? So now, some of you are new, some of you are more senior, but this is a script that you can use at any stage of your career to help you have a team. Now, some of them, okay, I have just met at a class, but maybe she's somebody in my life, maybe she's my coworker. So this is what I would say to them. I'm going to use Gail now, okay? So Gail is my, okay? Hi, Gail. It's Suzette. How are you? Me and her probably work together, or I know her. She was one of the people that I had just described, okay? All right? You know, Gail, I've been doing some thinking about you lately. I really have. And I've been thinking about you because then you're going to give her a sincere compliment. Sincere compliment. I've been thinking about you because I know that you love to look great. I've been thinking about you because you just built a new home and maybe you need some tax deductions. I've been thinking about you because I know you got more out of your life. I be, okay, so therefore you're gonna call her and this is what you're gonna say. And because of that, I cannot keep my Mary Kay business inside. I want I want to meet you for coffee in the next couple of days. And the coffee's on me, by the way, and you can even have a latte, okay? But I want you to give me 20 to 30 minutes of your time, and I just want to share with you a couple of perks of having a Mary Kay business. It may or may not be for you, I don't know, but please give me 30 minutes of your time now, all right, how does that sound? Do you think that that sounds? Yeah. You know why? You talk from here. You always talk from your heart. I did lie to her. She has been on my mind. That's why I'm calling her. Okay? Do you know that I made a call like that a few days ago? Because I have been wanting to ask a lady to meet with me for a long time. I met her about 10 years ago. And I've been wanting to offer her the business ever since. But I never had the courage to do it. So finally, I touched base with her, and I told her, I said, I have been wanting to talk to you about this business for so long, but I needed some courage to do it. And her reply to me was, you old bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay? You know I'd meet with you. Okay? So therefore, do not always put it off.
Okay, so that's one way to get your first queen number in the next 15 days. Okay, another way is you've just met her, okay, at your skincare appointment. Okay, my one on one appointments, they are very important to your stay in the class. I offer everybody the opportunity, okay? And that's why getting back to your eye story, as I mentioned last night, becomes a very incredible part of your presentation, okay? You have to have your eye story done. So, probably I met Wendy a couple weeks ago at a class, and I told her that my goal was to be, all right, the newest car driver, Mary Kay car driver in St. John's. Maybe I didn't do the invitation with her that night because I was too nervous. All right, but I didn't think about it, so. But I'm going to call her now. Wendy, it's Suzette. It was such a pleasure meeting you at Tammy's house last week. I've been thinking about you ever since. Because remember I said that I wanted to earn my very first car with Mary Kay Cosmetics? And I wanted to, to be the next car driver in St. John's? She'll say, yeah. I'll say, great. All right, in order for me to do that, or as part of my growth to that next career step, I need to practice how to present this beautiful business to a lady. And I wonder, do you think that you could meet me for coffee? Just for 20 or 30 minutes. So that I can practice how to present this business. It's another way you Okay, remember, I told her what my goal was. I told her that I want to be a car driver. And I bet you when I told her that, she was impressed by that. You see, when we share our goal with somebody, that impresses them. Do you think that happens to them much every day? No. Do you think she's going to meet somebody that's going to say, my God, I want to drive a free car with Mary Kay Cosmetics? You impressed her already because you simply shared your goal. Okay? So any questions on anything that I have said here today? I think there's one comment. Yes. Your first example when you attended Mary and Pete Turner. Yeah. And others like that seminar when Dr. Amy spoke of that had three credentials, which she says is probably not the case. And then that creates the other person to think, wait a minute, why are you doing this? Why and couldn't it's I do that? that reverse psychology thing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that. And I wouldn't I thought, know that, Tammy. So I thought that was like, oh, yeah. yeah. And she said she's consistent in doing it. So it was interesting okay. how. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. No, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I'm putting the negativity out there right from the start, you know? No. Yeah. Okay. It may or may not be for you. I don't know, honey. But, all right, if you knew the perks of the business, 